Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today, we have exciting news for fans of lightweight desktop environments. The LXQT project has officially released LXQT 1.4, the latest stable version of this minimalist desktop environment for GNU.Linux distributions. It's been nearly seven months since the last release, LXQT 1.3, and this one comes with several notable improvements. In this video, we'll dive deep into what's new in LXQT 1.4, the transition to QT6, and the enhancements in PCMNFM QT, QTerminal, LX Image QT, the LX QT panel, the LX QT session, and more. So, let's get started. LX QT 1.4 marks a significant shift as it's the last update based on the QT5 open source application framework. The LX QT development team is already hard at work, porting the environment to QT6 which is in line with the latest developments in the QT toolkit. The next release of LXQT is expected to be fully ported to Qt6. This transition ensures that LXQT stays current with the latest technologies and maintains compatibility with modern Linux distributions. The file manager in LXQT, PCManFMQT, has received some noteworthy updates. Users can now easily add terminal commands, streamlining the workflow for power users. Additionally, PCManFMQ now remembers the state of the split view when restoring tabs, offering improved multitasking capabilities. An essential addition is the ability to remember password and anonymity settings in the mount dialog, enhancing user convenience. Furthermore, the inclusion of an SVG icon adds a touch of modernity to the interface, making file management a more pleasant experience. The terminal emulator in LXQT, QTerminal, has not been left behind. It now supports audible bells, which can be useful for getting your attention during certain tasks. A new Falcon color scheme adds a touch of style to the terminal, and support for putty-style mouse button swap caters to users who prefer this configuration. These improvements make QTerminal a more feature-rich and customizable terminal emulator for your Linux desktop. LX Image QT. The image viewer in LXQT has seen some changes as well. It now provides minimal support for color spaces, which is crucial for accurately displaying images with different color profiles. However, one notable change is the removal of Image Shack as an upload option. This decision was made due to Image Shack requiring a paid subscription for image hosting. While this may inconvenience some users, it aligns with the need for LXQT to maintain free and open source software principles. The LXQT panel receives several welcome improvements in this release. Old issues related to checking and clearing urgency have been addressed, offering a smoother user experience. Additionally, window cycling with the mouse wheel and the taskbar has been optimized, making it easier to navigate open applications. A new option has been introduced to the custom command plugin, allowing users to display the output as an image, expanding the customization options for your panel. The LXQT session has not been forgotten in this release. It has been updated to improve the Dbus activation environment, enhancing support for third-party apps that set Dbus activatable to true. These enhancements make the LXQT session even more robust, ensuring that it seamlessly integrates with your favorite Linux distribution. In addition to these prominent changes, various LXQT components have received fixes, addressing bugs and improving overall stability. Language translations have also been updated in LXQT 1.4, ensuring that the desktop environment is accessible to users around the world. These improvements reflect the commitment of the LXQT development team to provide a reliable and user-friendly desktop environment. LXQT 1.4 brings a refreshing set of enhancements and improvements to this lightweight Linux desktop environment. The transition to Qt 6 ensures that LXQT remains compatible with the latest Linux distributions, while updates to PCMNFM Qt, QTerminal, LX Image Qt, the LXQT panel, and the LXQT session contribute to a more polished and user-friendly experience. General fixes and updated translations round out this release, further enhancing the reliability of LXQT. If you're a fan of efficient and customizable Linux desktop environments, be sure to check out LXQT 1.4 and enjoy the new features it brings to the table. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.